Response to those who says take it back to the good old days. Let's take it back to the good old days. Let's take it back to when niggas and spicks knew their place. When chinks were lined up and put into camps. When women of color were fast wars and tramps. When Hoover bugged after came up with some microphones and his hotel lamps. Let's take it back to when the CIA placed hundreds of Cubans on a certain bay and then let them be slain and say, oh, we had nothing to do with it. It was what they, what they wanted. Let's take it back to commie sympathizer witch hunts. Let's take it back to blacklists. Let's take it back to government control segregation because of pigmentation. Let's take it back to the control of an island's population through sterilization. Let's take it back to when bullets flew. When Kennedy's brain was splattered, when Dr. King's skull was open, when Brother Malcolm sold it because of conspiracies buried in files and codes. Let's take it back to small black children being spread on the streets of the U.S., attacked by dogs, spit on like Christ was. Let's take it back to chemical insecticide due to healthy crops that affected my family, my uncles, my theas, my grandparents, who worked for under minimum wage like slaves. They labored in the sun to be infected by cancer. Let's take it back to the zoot suit riots where America's Navy raped our women, beat our men all in the name of defense. Let's take it back to when the only face of beauty was white. My Latino actors are forced to say they were Italian. When mixed mulatto children that they were not black. Let's take it back to when the only act in the big screen that depicted people of color was of sex, violence, and ignorance. Let's take it back to when Brucey was forced to wear a mask because of his slanted eyes and means that up to the Green Hornet. Let's take it back to when blacks could not play in the NBA before LeBron, before Iverson, before Jordan, before Zeke, before Magic, before Dr. J, before the Iceman, Wilt, and Russell. Let's take it back to the good old days when men's and when Americans went overseas to fight in wars, only to return in body bags, and because they were not white, could not be buried in the cemeteries that they died to keep. Let's take it back to when the government introduced heroin in of Harlem, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Detroit. Let's take it back to when jazz was monkey music, back to blackface, Uncle Tom, yes, massive mentalities. Let's take it back to when blues, jazz, and poetry were expropriated, and black and brown voices were drowned out. Let's take it back to Pinero, Arganin, Petri, where pseudo writers and poetry was only a dead white guy thing. Let's take it back to DJs, MC, graffiti were not subcultures but were black and Latino before Beastie Boys, Third Base, and Eminem, when hip hop was in ghettos and slums. Let's take it back to when masters raped slaves, when Thomas Jefferson had a love affair with one of his own. Let's take it back behind Carlos Heidi said. Hiding behind she said he crosses the blaze. Let's take it back to my government minority see the outcome of AIDS. Let's take it back to the Treaty of Guadalupe, 40 acres and a mule. Let's take it back to the red man being infected by smallpox from blankets given to him by the US of A. Let's take it back to the no question reality dogma of the age. Let's take it back to women are worth nothing, unable to vote, baby making cooking, tortillas and greens, and then as I bust time and time again. Let's take it back to Vietnam when men and women bled and bled and bled. That's when I hear people say, let's take it back to the good old days. I say, fuck that. No way. The good old days weren't as good as they say. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>